Hello and welcome to the stream. Tonight we're returning to Oxygen Not Included. During the last uh, stream, we built into space here and built her a nice little uh, space base, which you saw during the preview. Tonight we're going to start building some rockets, and those will get built right around in here someplace. Um, yeah, right around in here. Not entirely sure exactly where, but I think the last time we measured down that we need to go down, we want to make, make sure we can go down 50 tiles, which means about right there. So maybe I'll start it right here. Oops, that's not really what I wanted to do. But okay, we'll do it like this. So, in fact, this should probably just be bunker tiles here. Because there's no sense in starting the bunker doors until we get to where the rocket actually is. So let's deconstruct that, and we'll put bunk regular bunker tiles in there. And we need to let the dupes get to work. Hey, Fazy, welcome to the stream. I'm trying to remember if there's anything else at the end of the last stream that we decided we needed to work on. And I don't know. My, uh, my, my number one YouTube fan is trying to convince me to build this into a heat deleter. Um, we have 34 cycles, so we have to even think about this thing making any heat worth it, worth anything. And I'm kind of enthralled with letting it attempt to melt the ice around it. But we'll see. We got time. Either way. Eventually, I want to rebuild and expand this uh, refrigerator. A um, couple things with it. Uh, I'd like to be able to have more than one blue, uh, more than one something being cooled. Um, obviously the water is good to have here. And maybe we'll just leave this one alone, leave it, leave it for the water, but build another one of these um, to be able to cool some other liquids. Eventually we'll need to be able to um, cool oxygen and hydrogen gases into liquids so that'll be exciting i remember the last time we were we were making starting to make lime out of fossil here so uh they started working on that that'll be good um, i did look just before we started and we have 40 tons of coal which is our tertiary backup our tertiary power source at this point um, looks like we're hardly ever using this one, so we must be relying almost exclusively on, um, uh, what's it called? Um, natural gas. So that's, that's good. Natural gas is basically free at this point, so the less we have, less work we have to have our colony do to make power, the better off we are. Um, I'm playing... One or both, depending on when I actually start it and how long I let it run for, of the um, the the title themes, the main title themes for Oxygen Not Included. So sometimes I play the the original one, and then there's a there's a second one available as well that sometimes I play. So it kind of just depends on what which one I I pick that day, and then today I actually started the beginning of the second one after the first one ended. So it kind of just depends. Um, oh, I know what it was. So, um, we finished scanning this asteroid. Um, we found out that it is a carbon asteroid. Um, we know some statistics about it, like its, its mass. And it regenerates its resources at this rate. It has refined carbon, coal, and diamond, among other things that we don't know yet. And then apparently we can get things called artifacts from there, which I don't know what those are because those weren't in when I last played and made it to space. Um, and then we need to send research modules to this rocket, or to this rocket, to on the rocket, to this planetoid, or this uh, object, asteroid, that uh, and, and study it. And by studying it, then we learn, by studying the ones with the exclamation marks, we learn the ones with the question marks if I remember correctly from the last time. So that's kind of, and then eventually we can send a cargo container on a rocket here and it'll bring back a bunch of this garbage. So that's good. So let's analyze this other object here. 
and see what we can come up with. I see Sydney's hard at work in the telescope. Okay, so let's build another set of four. And then... The rockets I, pieces, I think, are... Actually, let's just measure them. We need more steel. That's right. They are one, two, three, four, way too many wide. We can't place it because you have to place the bottom piece first. One, two, three, four, five wide. Okay. So they're just slightly wider than a door, as you can see. Hey, Wandable. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for the raid. Five viewers. Wow. Did you just finish up a, uh, a stream of your own? What were you streaming tonight? Yeah, there's a bunch of other um, game audio recordings that someone has on YouTube that I'm just playing from YouTube, um, and that's so that's where I'm getting it from. It's just it's just the the YouTube video. All right, so these are five wide, so we need at least two doors anyway so i think i'm just going to put two doors right here kind of like this and that'll be enough for our first um why oh because i'm using the steel to make the doors right of course um thing oh i can't of course now i can't you think there's no steel we used all the steel so um i did see also as i was prepping for the episode Oh, cool. Yes, we do have enough plastic now to do this. So now we can use... Well, as soon as this builds... Look at that a high priority. So we can use the tube to fly up to the top now. And then we'll start building the tube downward so that we can get toward the bottom as well. And eventually I'll put more stations in here. If we zoom out a little bit... Um, you know, we're not really doing a whole lot in this area yet, but if we start putting more stuff, say, in this area, we could put a station in here. The other thing I'd eventually do is I put a lateral tube going across the map somehow, and that way they can um, go across in a few different places to the other areas. But getting from the base down here to the bottom and all the way up to the top is kind of my priority for the tube. Yeah, I have a Oceana World um, that I'm playing kind of on the side a little bit, and I have so many of the the red uh, water geysers. I don't know what they're called, which ones they're called, I should say. We need more glossy directlet eggs, or glossy directlets, I should say. We only have four in there, and we want seven. All right, so it got built, so they should be jumping in it and using it. This is one of my favorite. Why are you not using it? Are you not going? You're not going all the way. That's why. Probably nothing for up here for them to do. That's probably why. Well, there's stuff for them to do. Oh, and that, there's not stuff for them to do because we don't have ladders built. There we go. Uh, I don't know. It's it's one of the geysers, and the color is reddish. I mean, it may not be straight up red, but it's reddish. It looks like. I don't even know if I have any on this map. At least not that we, that we revealed. It, it looks kind of like the oil thing, that like that shape, the geyser shape, but it it's reddish. It's like a. I don't know. <laughs> I I can't remember what the what the type what type of geyser it was without looking. I guess I could look. I have the thing pulled up. Uh huh. It is a. That's not what I wanted. It's, a, it's just called a water geyser. It, it erupts uh, water at 95 degrees Celsius, so it's near boiling. Um, but it's not like the steam geysers like we're... Or the steam vents like we're used to. Fix my screen here. Um, yeah, there's a saltwater geyser too. Um, I have one of those on that map. I think probably most, if not all, of the... Um, the... Uh, the Oceana Worlds do have those, I would suspect. Kind of fits. Oh, 
I forget now. What are we doing? Oh, yeah, that's right. So... That's right. We're, we're just, th these are just dumping out... So we are using these a little bit. These are dumping out uh, polluted water, picking it up, filtering it, and sending it back to the base. Actually, we're sending it to our to our refrigerator. And we're... We need to take care of some water faster here. 15. What is this set at? Zero? Good. Okay. We could we could use some more water in our in our water tank here. The other thing I need to do actually is Oh, we have no carbon dioxide hardly in the base. That's pretty surprising. Usually I end up with at least some. No fertilization. They just need dirt? Why? Why you not bring dirt? Organic? No. Cultivatable soil. We have 152 tons of dirt. Let's make these sixes so they at least get done reasonably. Yeah, the um, if I find one on this map, especially somewhere up near the top here, which I think there's another un as yet uncovered. What do we have here? Iron Volcano. All right, we wanted to get that thing going. We can have more iron. If I find another um, one of those, either the the water geyser or the um, or some form of water geyser, I'll probably, if, if it's north, somewhere in the north part of the base, that's probably where I'll set my refrigerator up and I'll just uh, uh, electrolyze it and feed the hydrogen and oxygen into it and make that my... Um, where I make my rocket fuel, or my, my sort of endgame rocket fuel. Good. Now, uh, the, the stuff got built. Let's see, I want to keep going, I think, with the doors. When we have enough steel. We need a, We need a lot more steel. All right, so we can dig out some stuff here, which I'm going to do, because we need to really dig this down. Actually, yeah, let's go ahead and just start digging across. We're going to basically dig a giant chasm here. Um, starting, starting actually probably right here, and just working our way across, and that'll be our rocket silo. It'll end... Like I said before, right around here, and it'll just go across. It's going to really heat up this ice biome, but I'm not that worried about it. We have we have plenty of ice biomes to keep stuff cold in. We need them. We haven't even explored out here yet. So um, we, have, we have plenty of opportunity, at least, for ice, or for ice biomes. I think we'll just do that, start digging this out while they're still building these. Let me look at the power on these. Um, let's see. Yeah, we're already potentially overloading. Um, with just one wire. I think I want to set this up for the two electrical wires. And actually, I want to change the way this is. I want to put... I want to shift everything over one tile. So that I can put the heavy watt wire behind the ladder. So we'll, we'll work on that also while they're while they're digging because um, not everyone. Oops, I didn't want to do that. Not everyone can can dig and not everyone can build. So at least we'll each be able to do a little bit. I think they just, I think one of them just popped out of that. Yep, there they go. Basically, just, just popped out. Awesome. Yeah, I think that's so funny. So we could also set up the Robo Miners to do this work for us. But, um, what's, what's up, Fazian? Is just the stuff falling? You're confused? Yeah, probably. 
And then this column right here will be actually be a ladder. All the way down. Uh, hey, BSD guy, Sean. Thanks for the follow. How f I ended up having to uh, to leave last night after a while. How far did you end up getting in your uh, Lazy Bastard run? Are you not much really into my comments about what you were up to? What your character was up to? I think we'll go that far over for now. Oh, hey, quirky smirky lane. Yeah, uh, Wandable gave me a little raid here with everyone on it. Oh, I, I feel that. Yeah, it was an insane day for me, too, and I didn't even have to go to work today. <laughs> yeah, surprise. I know, not enough materials. Relax. It'll be fine. I think that's probably wide enough for now. Um, that'll give us enough room for about a rocket, a rocket, maybe two rockets, a rocket and a half. Oh, yeah, anybody who is, um... Hey, thanks for the, thanks for the follow, Quirky. Um, yeah, anybody who's in the raid, AFK, anybody who's in a, in a, uh, um, a thing, uh, <laughs> a stream, AFKing, you have to opt out of the raid, so if you're AFK, then, then yeah, you, you get brought along whether you like it or not. Hey, look, it worked. We missed it, but it worked. All the crap fell through, and the stuff that would have fallen in front of the telescope and started overheating it kept going. And the Robo Miners did their job. I love it when a plan comes together. That's a weird pause behavior there. Okay. Um, hold on. Let's let's make sure we get this cleared out. Oh, actually, no, that's fine. We can do that. But yeah, uh, ask away. I've been playing... Well, let's see. I played for... I played, like, five different maps spread out across five different, like, releases... Um, for about six months or so, and then I quit playing for about six months, and I started back here in July on this map when, when the version that became, you know, the launch version, the release version came out. But either way, I appreciate the, the raid by Wandable. Um... Raided me what two, two, three times before. So, yeah, I appreciate the raids. All right, I think we can go ahead and cut these down now. Yep, we can do that. I'll have to figure out what to do with this water. Maybe I'll just let it settle down here. What I'll probably end up doing is cutting a path across here to access the rocket. Maybe we'll just cut across here, actually, to access the rocket silo. Put a put an airlock in here. That way they have an airlock to go up 
and an airlock to come over to the rocket silo. Right, yeah, when the launch is beta, that's what I was trying to get at. Thank you, Fazian. Always here to make sure that I'm speaking correctly. My, my map is now bespoke. There will never be another one like it. Um, let's put in a bridge right here. No, this one. And then we'll take out this wire. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's that's early game power. That that comes with time. We've all been there. Oops, sleepy time. The um Oceana worlds are interesting because there's not very much in the way of slime biomes, which you might think is nice, except that it also means there's not very much gold. Because that's really the only place you can find gold. So it ends up being kind of a hassle, really. Drop that off right there. Let's do... Those two guys. Oh, must be another meteor shower incoming. Thanks for the warning. Let me take this one out. All that copper. That'll be better this way anyway, because then we can fit more of these, or these in a little bit tighter together. This one here. Act it down. And then connect it up to that one. And this way we can split the bases the uh, space base is power kind of in half here. Um, and I think I'm just going to go straight up from here. And we'll break this in half right there and right here where this bridge is once we uh, have it established. Doors open. Junk falls through. I like it. I can't remember if I saw parts of that. I honestly have no idea how you get lumber. I've never played... I've not yet played on a map that has the, um... the... the... the, the right biome. Um, there, it's, it's in a specific biome, and I haven't played on a map that has that biome yet. Well, I sort of. I poked around, I poked around a little bit with a, um... a, a rhyme... Um, world, but I haven't gotten to the point where I can really make it out to the to the, that biome yet. So I don't know. All right, so this is another carbon asteroid. Great, we needed two of those. Uh, it has the same exact kinds of stuff in different quantities. So, um, for example, if we wanted to get more refined carbon, we would go to this one rather than this one. If we wanted to get more coal, we would go to this one rather than this one. And then the diamond's just about the same, so it's basically no difference. And then we'll see, they may have unique materials here. Uh, oh yes, you do get our rave corns in the printer, that's right. I do have, may have a few already on this world, but I haven't, um, I haven't fiddled with them, actually. That's a very good point. Sleepy time again. I think I'm just going to dig out 
just going to dig this down and let the water sink to the bottom. I think that'll be fine. And then once they build this, then I will, um, I will let them, I will save up the steel, let them, let them build away on the steel. Okay, auto save. Yeah, coal's easy to come by, relatively speaking. There's plenty of coal on this planet that I haven't even, or this world that I haven't even bothered mining yet because I don't really need it. Why did we lose power? You're still complaining about lime. Why are we losing power? We may be overloading our power generation. No, these aren't even running. Oh, they run, they kick on quick. Oh, they don't have any supply. That's their problem. Pipe blocked. What did I do? Forget to, oh, all right. Too much pressure. In Whoa, yes, there's too much pressure in there. 7.8 kilograms. That's a lot of pressure. Um, can we dump it down here? Yes, we can. Yes, we will. Okay. Instead of running it that way, let's run it this way. And we'll just dump it down here. And actually, I'm going to just go ahead and do a high pressure vent down here. Uh, let's make it out of copper just because the lead might melt. Let's do that kind of high priority so we can get it done. Oh yes, coal is definitely easy to burn through if you aren't careful. I actually have kind of found that out on my Oceano world. There's not a whole lot of coal either because most of the biomes are this one. Like, most. Probably 75% of the biomes are, are this. And so there's not much coal either because you really only get the coal in, in the starting biome and then in these, um, these uh, caustic biomes. So it's a little hard to come by sometimes. Wrong, wrong filter. Okay, good. It is now going. We have quite a bit of pressure down here in the ladder shaft as well. Oh, look. We can delete some stuff. Let's see. Delete buildings only. Those guys. Those guys. That should be it. Cover some granite. That'll be where we put our tube... When we are ready for it. Telescope's idle again already? Oh, look at that. Oily asteroid. It has methane, carbon dioxide, crude oil, petroleum, and two mystery products. Um, that's all we really know about it so far. Other than tons and tons of stuff. Basically, I'm just going to go through and scan each one of these, because once we scan them all, then the telescope is basically useless. Wow, they go a ways. Um, the telescope becomes basically useless once you've revealed them all. So, we'll just go ahead and get them all done and out of the way. And we don't have any natural gas coming in. So we have completely no natural gas power. No, that one's going to be dormant for a little while. So is that one. So we're going to be relying completely for a while on uh, petroleum. Well, crude oil byproducts here. And there's not much crude oil left. We're going to dig out some more crude oil, too. And then we'll have to start using the reservoirs, which require us to pump in clean water. At that point, it'd be real nice to... And 
You gotta worry about temperature too, I think. They produce a lot of heat. I don't know if they really have an issue with the water temperature coming in. But it gives us a lot of water. So we'll have to worry about that in soon. Maybe we can just... I don't know if this water is too hot or not, but we could start with it and see. Because I really don't want to use our nice, cool, clean water if we don't have to. This used to be an ice biome. Look how hot this water is. 44 degrees, thanks to that. And a little laggy. A lot going on. Ooh, we can take out some more of this. There we go. Old amalgam. Sure. Uh, we we do have space for one more duplicate. I'd rather not take somebody like this. I prefer them to be kind of a strength um, athletics specialty, just because those are kind of the universal traits for doing a lot of stuff. Um, but we're just going to take the Golden Malcolm for now. I don't know if these guys will die when I open this. Well, it is, it is already opened up to space, so they haven't died yet. I don't know if they're unhappy about it, though. No, they're happy. Okay. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Telescope is idle again. We got a metallic asteroid. Iron, iron copper, obsidian, and one other thing. Oh, and smooth hatches. I didn't notice if there's any other resources there. So if we have a biological cargo bay we can, when we visit this world, we can bring back smooth hatches, which will produce coal for us. Nope, no other resources. Basin, you're just working hard over there. Alright, guys. Who's standing on the same spot? So I guess we need to kind of dig across, see what else is out here. Because there could be something in that corner. I'm looking for more vents here. Vents and geysers and stuff. One right here we could dig across to. See what's in there. Especially if we can find, like we were talking about, some sort of a water geyser. Yep, hi ho, hi ho, it's off to work you go. Digging holes. It's good for you though, it's good good hard work, you know. Still have copper in the starting biome we haven't mined yet. Yeah, so this world had geodes, it has large or medium boulders, I can't remember which size those are. It has something else. What's the other trait this world has? It might have been geoactive. I guess those are probably large boulders, they're pretty darn big. Oh, and the frozen the frozen core too. Which is pretty awesome. The frozen core with a vent point that doesn't actually have a vent there. So we can actually get down here and dig across as well and see what else might be in the in the core. Get back up there and make sure Phasian's got more to drill. Out of work. 
Um, let's do this. Wait, wait. One, two, three. Uh, yeah, might be okay. Get him down here. Ooh. Let's capture this guy. Wrangle. High priority. I don't know how we got a random glossy Draco, I guess. Ooh, we need to deal with this soon, too. We could just let it drop. What is this dump to again? It's been a long time. Dumps in here, which then gets... was getting used. Not anymore. Was getting used for irrigation. For balm... no, not balm lilies. Uh, thimble reeds. So we could potentially bring back the thimble reeds. Um... That might work. Sweep these before the little babies hatch out of the eggs. We don't have enough to feed them anyway. We don't need more. Who was that poking along? Oh, yes. Our newest, uh... Our newest duplicate. How many eggs have I stored? What are eggs? I might be using those as food. No, I guess I'm not. There's four of them. Some of them I use as food. Some of them I don't. Just aren't getting a lot in the way of food. Oh, I know what I want to look at. I want to look at the... Rossburgers. These require... Frost buns, lettuce, and barbecue. Frost buns we can make here. We already have lettuce, we already have barbecue being made. I don't see any reason why we can't make those. Um, and they give us some pretty great... Uh, Stats. Let's take the barbecue out. Cooked fish is fine because I can't use it for anything later. Pepper bread likewise. Once they make a frost bun, I can make that one unedible. And I think there's also, yeah, stuffed berry. We don't have any gristle berries though, but if we did, um, we could we could make those too. We never did farm any of those this time. Yeah, thimble reeds. We still could though. We still could farm, farm them. But I wonder if I should just let this drip out. Just let it come down here. And let this pump take it away. I don't. I don't think there's a problem with that. So maybe I'll just put in. Uh, well, let's dig, dig a little bit of like an angle here, like that, and then we'll put in a mesh tile here in this corner, and then we'll just let this uh, polluted water dribble out here, and it'll get. Caught up in this corner, hopefully, and just come straight down here instead of getting over here. Okay. There we go. Telescope saddle again. We got another oily asteroid. Uh, looks like we can get crude oil and petroleum for this one. Oh, we could get it from the other one, too. Methane, carbon dioxide, crude oil, and petroleum. Uh, only one additional item. Whereas this one has two. And, uh, yeah. About the same otherwise. Different percentages, but not vastly different. So, 
So the first thing we need to build up here is a way to get steam. What was this? Iron Volcano. Yeah, that's right. Um, the biggest, the easiest way to get steam is to do what we're doing with the Thermal Aqua Tuner. So we could do the same here. And instead of putting a steam engine in, we actually just bottle that steam and send it into a, um, uh, send it into the rocket. Um, if we had a good volcano, I know why we didn't do this iron volcano. We already have an iron volcano. If we had a good volcano up here, like a, like a regular volcano volcano or something, we could try capturing the heat with that. But our best bet might be to just make the steam we need. And actually, I'll do that right here in, in the rocket sort of shaft itself. Oh, we dug too much too far. Let's do that again. So let's kind of start with that same plan. This one will be a little bit smaller, I think. Um, because we don't need... We don't need as much space. Can't close it in yet. Let's see. So we need to drip in water. Plumbing. We need aqua tuner. Need more plumbing. This will be one of these. So just like before, the the pipe, the return pipe for the um the thing, the hold on a second. Let me take this return pipe pipe for the coolant. Come in here. Uh, it'll it will have a bypass that's optional here, and then it'll come back out this way. Make that igneous. That'll be our coolant. Uh, down here, we'll connect it to radiant pipes. Um, I don't think we wanted a iron aqua tuner, though. We don't have enough steel yet. Oh, boy. Let's wait till we make more steel, I guess. Yeah, so we have a couple of our acorns already. I don't, I'm not going to get another one. I also don't need any of those. Um, cooking, I'm fine with not. Ren isn't bad. But I'd rather have strength and athletics than construction, even. And I see this one has some, some strength bonuses here. But I want the athletics too, if I'm going to do it. I, I'm not hurting for a dupe at this point, so... Um, I guess let's go ahead and make it out of, out of gold amalgam, because I don't want to blow any more stone. Or stone. Steel. And then here, we actually need a gas vent, or a gas pump, I should say. And that'll go into the rocket. Yeah, that's stinky. Well, what are you gonna do? And then instead of separating these any, keep digging, by the way. Instead of separating these any, I'm just going to put a second layer here of insulation. Just to make sure these two zones keep separated. Except that I don't want to close it in yet. And then we'll just do another um, row here of... Um, or this stuff. So, maybe I 
didn't oh yeah i have to do it that way so this would be the the release for the water coming in um to be cooled um i'm just gonna cool water and i'll just send it back to the base who cares um at least for now this is just to make our steam rocket so i'm not that worried about it this gas vent will bring in some hydrogen hopefully if we can find some someplace we'll bring in some hydrogen and uh cool this room down so in that case we need a gas pump to pull the air out one time and then we need a liquid pump to get the water out uh, when it's cold enough that'll be over here and we also need a sensor thermo sensor we can make that out of lead because it's going to be cold down here anyway it doesn't matter Make that out of lead. So, we need these. Um, this, I'm going to just connect out here to something I can switch on and off. Same thing with this one. No, wait. Cancel. Cancel. Well, no, this should be iron. Now that I deleted it all, this should all be iron. This one could be lead. Should leave those out yet. And then we need... Um Radiant liquid pipes. Like that. And the lead should be fine for those because it's going to be cold down here anyway. And then we'll need to bring in some coolant here. And we'll need to bring in our water here and here. You know what? Just do it like that. Who cares? And that'll be bringing in our water. Um, no. That's not how I want to do it, actually. Cancel this one. Cancel that one. We'll run these across over here. And we'll put in some um, some valves over here. Shut off valves. This one will be controlled by this. No, hydro sensor. We need a hydro sensor in here. This one can be lead. And this one will just be controlled by me, I think. Yeah, I think so. And then we'll bring the water in, probably just right across through here. We'll need to put our... Um, we're gonna, do we still have the oil pipe coming up here, please? Thank you. Awesome. I knew we kept that thing for a reason. How did Regolith get all the way in there? Um, we're going to put in another uh, thing here. Another uh, uh, crude oil 
lock. Maybe you're right in there someplace. So, if we go, we'll go like maybe here, there, there, across the top. I know, we gotta bring power in here yet. It's alright. Be fine. Did I finish? No, I did not. Deconstruct that. Deconstruct those. And that'll separate our two power networks. Oops, power networks up here. Into, or power networks into two separate networks instead of having them be in the same network. Like crazy people. This can come across into there, into there. Shut it off for now. all that okay do we need anything else crammed in here I don't think so so we can probably close off the ends here now now let's wait on this one because I won't be able to walk out here because I need some of these box sensors let's build these up. Eh. No, because the rock is going to be blasting off above it. Let's make these out of, out of co uh, copper. This rock is actually going to be fairly short. And then once we get past the steam age here, we'll be able to build um, a bigger rocket. We'll take all this down and be able to build a bigger rocket. This is all just temporary just to get us through the steam age. We have to build a steampunk, steampunk rocket. I never did look at the materials to see which material has the highest melting point. This was 15. Oh, we need a sensor, sensor over here. Is it in plumbing? Liquid pipe thermal sensor. One right there. Unreachable. I thought so. I don't know how they built the pipe if they couldn't... They can't build the tile. Clean this garbage out of here first. We have more, but... Why is that unreachable? Is that really unreachable, or is it just make-believe unreachable? Probably make. Probably real. Build a thing right there, then. Not starving. Can always use water, right? Let's see what else we got. No. No. We'll take the water. Stupid voles. There we go. Okay. 
I think we can go ahead and turn this on now. Drip, drip, drip. We kind of have enough room here for two more large transformers at least. That'll be that'd be good. It should be more than enough power. I say that now. This one's going to be zero. And green signal if it's above zero. Oh, I forgot about the automation wire. This needs to be something that's not going to melt fast. That. I want to keep an eye on that. Don't let myself get too carried away. This one just comes out here to vent. This one's going to go into the rocket. But I need it to vent first. Let's do that. These need to be turned off for now until I seal them. There's no point until then. If we can get some hydrogen, we'll bring that in this way. Um, we'll bring it in this way. We don't have a hydrogen vent, which that's, that's one thing that I, I guess regret is the word to use about this map. We don't have any hydrogen. This pump will pump the cooled water out. We just need to bring power in here. Oh, yeah. We're out of crude oil? Did I disconnect this? I probably disconnected it. Saying, oh, we don't need any more crude oil up there. Or, that's a long pipe. Or we don't have any. Don't have any. Excellent. All right, let's dig out a bit of this. We need a ladder right here to reach all that. I thought somebody was coming down here to dig. There he is. Wait a minute, is that just going unfiltered? Probably not good. There's probably other garbage in there. There is other garbage in there. No. Oh, isn't that convenient? Somebody, anybody, please destroy that pipe. Or it's too late. Should be coming off of here and going further north. Because this, this is um, filtering for crude oil. Really? Well, it's a good thing it's all crude oil now and all the water is already gone. Uh, plumbing. A little bit of spaghetti monster here. Oh, we lucked out again. Somebody want to destroy this pipe? 
Come on. Oh. oh, I made it out of copper. Yeah, that was probably a bad move. Should have been gold amalgam. Roadster, come on. Glide faster. There you go. Okay. That'll be better. Hopefully no... Uh, gross water got through. Actually, let's wait on that. We might not actually need it. Oh good, it's done. But we need more for this anyway, so it's fine. How did I cancel that? That should be going to there and to there. And then we need the bridge. This will also be controlled by me. Now we can continue digging this out. We put this over here. Giant. That's weird. Oh well, that's good enough. Need to put ladders in to build that, but it'll be all right. I don't think I reach that anymore. Telescope is idle again. We found a satellite. Uh, steel, copper, and glass. Hey, that's that's not unuseful. Steel and glass. Less heat I have to produce. Copper is never never a bad thing. All right, and this will come in across here. Into there. So yeah, let's put a few ladders in. Just to use as scaffolding. Oh, and we, we're going to need one back here to build that pipe. Okay, and then this can come in here. Iron, okay, good. Anything we're missing up there? Compared to down here, besides the, you know, steam engine. It's pretty much all the same stuff. We put the hydro sensor in. Maybe I should do this too. Put the AND gate in with the thermo sensor and a clock sensor. That way I have the ability to turn it off. Does that matter? No, because it won't pump the water out unless it's cool enough. So I'm not worried about it. 
put the hydro sensor in. We connected it to there. It needs to be green when it's below like 200 kilograms. I don't need that much water in there. We need to build that yet. Any junk laying around? A little bit. Oh yeah, the lead. And the iron. Oh, you need to get out of there, Phasian. Alright, good. Trying to get yourself stuck, I saw. Three, four, that should be enough. Okay, we have power. I think I'm going to, before I let these things get hooked up, I cancel all this. Build another one of these way down here. Do that that way. That way it's on its own dedicated power circuit. Yeah. <laughs> you refuse to live. Uh, I guess we can let the coolant go. Or not. Oh, we don't have power. Haha. <laughs> Alright, we'll wait. We'll wait till tomorrow now because, of course, it's the end of the cycle. Always works out that way for me. Still got a while to go. We need a lot more steel. We may not be making any more though. Let's let's zip down there and see what we're making. We may have already made all we had queued. Oops, there we go. Yes, we have. Well, at least we have some uh, lime and refined carbon saved up. That's good. Have this work out exactly like I hoped. All right, Evan and Bonobo is going to town over here. And his peps. Roadster is also there. Good. All right, that is now producing power again, so we can turn this back on. And let in some coolant. Um, hold on. Turn that off for now. And that's all you take. Okay, I think we can close this off. And we can probably close this off. There's not much in the way of gases down here, so we may not need to worry about venting. I will vent this one just because I don't want anything but, but steam in there, but um, the other one I think we can probably not worry about venting. We need to get some water up here for uh, producing the steam. Who are you? You're the... Okay, you're that pipe. This one, perhaps? And a bridge. Yep. And more insulated pipe. I think we'll jostle it over there like that. 
Bridge you can't teleport this stuff. Back we go to the liquid bridge. Look at that, we used most of that crude oil. I'll come back to the liquid bridge in a second, because this goes there. And then this one goes there. And it's nighttime again. Telescope's also idle. Ooh, a rocky asteroid. I like it, at least that we have some variety here. I mean, we had some duplicates, but oh well. Copper ore, sedentary rock, igneous rock, and again, two mysterious substances. That's interesting. That's the same one. All right, we can seal this off now, I think. Yeah, there's not even enough carbon dioxide in here to worry about. Let's do that. Just so we get up here f fast. Yeah, and this one will take long to pump to a vacuum either. These shovels really annoy me. They just do. Okay, so I need to look at materials. Um, so the metal tiles can be made out of metal. Um, wish you could look at the materials better here. The melting point of, of iron is 1,500. Copper is 1,000. Lead is too low, not even going to bother. But then what about things like ceramic? 1800, that's a little bit better. Obsidian. Twenty-seven, that's even better, better. Um, these are probably too low. What about mafic rock? Fourteen hundred. Obsidian looks like our best bet for a floor for the rocket. Nine hundred, yeah. I'm guessing granite's not any better. No, oh, granite's even worse. Um, so I think... And that's what I think I used to actually use on my previous maps is obsidian. So what we're going to do is make some... I think we'll make some insulated tile out of obsidian. And the reason I'm thinking insulated tile is because it's... There's more material that goes into it, it takes 400 as opposed to the regular tile which takes 200. So I'm thinking that that might hold the heat better because it's 400 grams instead of 200 grams, so it needs 400 needs twice as much heat to raise the temperature. At least that's my theory. Uh, one way to find out. The rocket is 5 wide, I think, so I'll make the platform 7. That way it's kind of centered and that should be right there in the edge of that door Ooh. and we're gonna actually make it double thick just for funsies and this has already been pulled down to vacuum 
So the, the, the rocket steam engine will sit right on top of that platform once it's done being built. I need to get up here and shovel off some of this slop. It's like winter time in Minnesota up here. I don't know what the little shooters are, but I like to think they're neutrinos. That might make me a nerd, but so many things do that it doesn't really matter at this point. Telescope's idle again. Alright, so we got an ice world. Awesome. Uh, looks like car ice, carbon dioxide, and oxygen, wart seeds, and sleet wheat grains, which those are always useful. It's going to take them a while to build this water pipe, so we have time. Before I forget, though... Let's change this pack to Igneous. I didn't look at what the temperature of Igneous was, did I? 1400. Yeah, and uh, the obsidian was 1800. Oh, 2700. Yeah, that's a little bit better. So I think the only thing that might be better than that would be like using steel. No, steel's actually not better. Um, we could potentially use diamond window tiles. Where's diamond at? Here? We need more table salt, too. Diamond. We could potentially use diamond window tiles. I don't know if they... They do have an overheat temperature, though. Go to these. Oh, no, they don't. That's just a modifier. So, the diamond window tiles would probably be our best bet. Um, but... No, I didn't want steel. I wanted to look at glass. Glass melts at 1400. So, yeah. How do we have glass there? Like a weird place for glass, unless... Ooh, I wonder if the sand that comes out of polluted water. Can that be? The polluted water produces sand. The sand then gets superheated by the iron, melts, and is reproduced into glass. That's a handy way of making sand. Oh, yeah, we knew about that. Uh, printables. Um, we still haven't played with rust yet, so we could do that. Uh, this one, this one doesn't bother me here. We could, we could take Gene. This is a good trait to have. I don't care about this trait not having. Um, it doesn't have, she doesn't have the athletics, but that doesn't mean that we can't work into it. Um, let me look at who might be next on the chatter list here. Uh, Wandable, if you're still around, you get to be the next... If you'd like to be. You get to be the next... Uh, the next duplicate. Are you still here? Oh, well. If Wandable has a uh, has has issue, um, I don't mind renaming either. Um, but I suspect that Wandable won't have a problem with having a duplicate named after them. So let's take Wandable and just in time to go to sleep. Perfect timing. Let's look at Wandable's. Um, well, first of all, skills. Take the first skill here. Strength, sure. Um, we should we should dole out some more skills here. 
We need that for that. Right, let's take that then. Engineering hat, tidying hat. Uh, supremacy, let's see. Go there. We need to do something about morale here. All right. Body temperature. Too cold up here? Twenty to forty. Oh, that's a problem with the mirth lease. You can delete that. Somebody's hungry. These were only temporary anyway, just to get to get us through um oh table salt. That's what I wanted to make. Make a ton of table salt. Um so twenty tons of coal. What are we doing on stuff and things? Oh, we have no chlorine left. I don't think, do we, we don't have a chlorine vent on this map, do we? Are we just harvesting chlorine from like wild sources? At least we don't have one that we know about. Well, we either we may we may just not need it. Let me just turn this junk off though, because there's no point in having it pump away if there's nothing to pump away at. Um oh no, I gotta turn them off this way. Disable. Disable. Uh-oh. Our timer didn't work. See, this is heating up fast. Um, we may just need to extend this time a bit longer. That might have been why. I do remember having to fiddle with that a little bit. Maybe I can get somebody to come down here and actually just open the door up and let it drop. Did we get the water in here yet? Negative. We need to get this other water back out, too. Oh, here comes the water. Good. Um, no, you don't. Fine. No, it's not what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Alright, so this is filling up now. Um, we can let some in here to reduce some steam with... I need a lot. Probably about enough. About 100 kilos per, per tile should be plenty. For now. Alright. We'll deconstruct it then. It's completely too hot down here. For that. 
We'll just make that out of gold amalgam. Assuming I don't forget. It must have been a high pressure. Yeah, it probably was. It, there was probably two or three thousand. And a pump. Amalgam. Make that kind of swiftly. Let's do the same thing with this. Take it out that way. There's some weird stuff going on right there. But didn't get confused. I like that. We just dump it down here. How did there how do we get a stone hatch down here? There's oxygen down here. Oh, probably because it's coming from down here. I don't want to know. That's incredible, though. Please take him with you, Supremacy. No, I want you to take him with you. Alright, so do we have enough stuff for the rocket yet? We do. We have... 2200 though, we're gonna need a total of 2400, so plus the gantries and stuff to we're probably gonna need a good 3000, I would say. But let's go ahead and start building the steam engine. This goes fast enough, we can get this rocket launched tonight. Why does that feel wider than. Because it is wider than that. Alright, we'll make this a little bit wider than I thought. This is a little bit wider than that would make it a little bit bigger. Maybe like that. Well, you're trying to go to the bathroom. You spent too much time on the surface, you got a sunburn. Oh, you're up there digging. That's right. I put you to work. Look what the gantries look like. Space-wise here, I think. I think I want one more space. On one side, at least. Cancel that one for a second. So if these go like this, just that's not necessarily where it's going to go, but just for argument's sake. Wait a minute, so I can place... That's bizarre. I can place the steam engine where the gantry's already there. But I can't place the gantry once the steam engine's already there. Okie dokie. So we need to also get some power across here now and then I need to be able to wait what do we make that power that wire out of oh iron okay that was weird I thought it used the rest of something
But I guess I just saw the gold go wonky and figured that's what it was. And then let's do a clock sensor. Maybe iron as well. Automation wire. Don't get a sunburn. Ooh. Rocketry. Research module. Now this is where we need a gantry. Because we need to be able to build it. And then the gantries need to be controlled by something. So what I usually do is just put a clock sensor here. And just turn them on and off manually. Doesn't really matter. Printables. Um, nope, because we already took somebody and we are full up with beds. And I don't really want or care for an Arbor Acorn at this point. Because I haven't done anything with them. Alright, another rocky asteroid. Copper ore, sedimentary, and igneous rocks. Analyze. So I don't hook the doors above my rocket to the sensors, to these sensors. And the reason I don't is because... Well, at least with the sense, why are these sensors closed and those ones open? It makes no sense. Oh, because we broke the wire. I'm an idiot. Priority, like, nine-ish on that. That'd be good. So anyways, so I don't hook these to the to the meteor sensors. Um, because I don't want... I, w I want the rock to be able to land even during meteor shower because it'll just tear through these doors and damage them. And I don't want that to happen. I wonder why there's so much garbage piled up up there. Lasers. Okay. So we have a gantry now. And the gantry... Oh, I need, it needs power too. <laughs> uh, power. Need wire. And they require, technically, a lot of power. But they only need that power for, like, an instant. So I don't worry about it. Yeah, they're digging it out. Okay, good. Alright, and we need a command capsule. So, in this... Because the rocket's this small, we only need the one gantry. You need a gantry at the command capsule... And you need a gantry kind of every so often on the rocket, depending on what the rocket is made out of. Um, in this case, the rocket is uh, just a research module, so we don't need anything more than one gantry. If the rocket has a bunch of cargo modules, depending on how you're unloading those, you might need more. Go that way. Uh, I don't know what that was. Probably fleeing. Somebody's got a baby. One of the poke shells got a baby somewhere. Alright, so we can start loading this guy up with steam. I want to leave this off. I want to let this thing go. Crude oil is quite warm right now, so it needs to cool down. It's cooling down rapidly. Oh, it was cooling down rapidly. There it goes again.
We need to finish this pipe too, which means we need to keep digging across here. I would like to launch this rocket as our crowning moment of this episode. That would be really nice. Alright, and then this water goes somewhere. It needs to go and hook into right here. And get pumped into the base. We'll just sneak it across like this. Down like this. And across like that. I'm afraid this is going to overheat. Because it's... Oh, it's 175. Okay, that's not as bad. I thought it was like 125. This water is 100 degrees, so there goes the steam now. I want this to get like 125 degree steam because I don't want it to condense back into water. Ooh, that was dumb of me. This ventilation pipe here should be insulated. That was really dumb, actually. But they'll rebuild it. Kind of fast, guys. Kind of fast. Okay, so let's look at how this works. We need an ammo suit. Alright, we have plenty of eligible astronauts. Let's go make an Atmos suit. Forgot about the Atmos suit thing. This one. Hopefully that'll get made fairly fast. The shine nymph egg right there. Ooh, we got a living planet. Living planet contains aluminum, aluminium if you're in Europe. Scooby Doo's cousin's name. No, and I don't know exactly when you typed that in reference to what I was doing, so I don't even have a clue. Plenty of oxygen available in this world, so that'd be good to bring back. Uh, pips, I hate pips. And arbor acorns. Pips are annoying. Pips will unload stuff from your storage containers. And then they will... Um, plant seeds, which isn't annoying, the planting seeds part, necessarily. Yep, they rebuilt it. Good. So, what are we at here? We are at 122. That's good. This thing's going to get too hot, though. All right, let's start unloading some of the steam. Yeah. Ooh, I forgot about the gas pump overheating. That's only going to be 125. Yeah. We're going to need some more steel. Where are we at? Not much. Turn this on. More water in here to make more steam. Thank you, auto save. Please go away now. Okay. Hopefully, we can make this last. So once the steam gets into here, it doesn't cool down, it doesn't condense, 
It does not pass go. It does not collect two hundred dollars. So once it gets past, once it gets into the engine, it's fine. It's it's gonna be dumb. Oh, interesting. I don't remember that. I mean, I might, but been like a million years. His stuff must have just been low for the reasons. Um, might as well help out with that. What's after that? Rocket navigation. Ooh. So who wants to be our first pilot? Perhaps the guy who is the only one chatting in chat today? don't really have enough skill points for me to give you rocket navigation. But you can at least pilot this first mission once we get enough steam loaded in here. Where are we at? Temperature wise, 100 degrees steam. Yeah, let's get this thing heated up. Hopefully I can make this last. If not, I'll break into here and let all the steam out. and make that a steel gas pump. And at that point, I might as well make this a steel aqua tuner too, I suppose. It's gonna overheat. This doesn't overheat, does it? No. Who's stressed out? Roadster's stressed out. Um, that's not good. That's not good at all. Um, that's really not good at all. We're gonna have to get some hot water in here. At least to get some water in here. might have to um, save the rocket launch for the next stream. Because this is a problem. How is our oxygen look? All right.
We could do our uh, temp shift plate trick here. If we have any ice. Main ice. Ice, ice. Oh, water. That would be good. Oh, we could use another snazzy suit, too. Okay, this suit needs to get delivered to... the ship. have one made. Let's, um... How much steam? 100 kilos. Let's shut this down. Yeah, there it went. Dog on it. All right. Well, yeah, the rocket's gonna have to wait till next time. Go ahead and deconstruct it because we're not gonna need it anyway. We didn't click another world here. Because yeah, we talked about that one. Okay. Uh, Fazian, were you planning on streaming tonight? We're not available for water. We don't have... Oh, that's why. Here we go. I guess I should have built those up here. I still could. Okay, cool. I will just deal with this nightmare here for a few more minutes, and then by the time you're ready to go, I'll be ready to go. There's oxygen coming back into the inner base now. Let's do... Oh, I did that wrong. Hold on. Come on. Build those ASAP. Didn't need to affect the door, though. Deconstruct that with the same ASAPness. Back in action. Charge them batteries. Hydrogen in there too. Once I can get some solar built, or yeah, some solar built, 
Power, solar, what do we need for that? Glass, we need a lot of glass though, 200 each. Once we can get the solar built, we'll have some kind of more stable power. Yes, I said ASAPness. Good catch there. And uh, we need one of these. One of these. One of these. While we're in here, let's go ahead and build this that way. Should I just go ahead and... Yeah, let's just go ahead and make this... Oh, we don't have enough. Why did you break? Because I pumped too hot of water in there, of course. Because I'm pumping 70 degree water into it, effectively. Or because there's 80 degree water sitting here on the floor. Well, that water's only 30 degrees. Forgot that was down there. Look at that. But that's gonna be a mess. Let's turn this off. Can we make a little bit more? Uh, steel. No, he did not. Alright, well, I think we'll end it here. Uh, we will finish up the cleanup f next time. And launch our first rocket. Hold it. You do not need to be putting other stuff in there. Hopefully, the where the heck is that going? Guess nowhere. Okay. Alright. So, uh, yeah, next time, next time we'll hopefully finish this up and get this rocket launched. All right, so we're going to raid Phasian. Um, thank you, Wandable, for the raid. Thank you, BSD guy Sean, Quirky Smirky Land, for the follows. You guys put me to the limit, and now I've made affiliate. Well, I've been offered to make affiliate. So I'm going to go take a look at that. Um, and uh, 
let's see, next time, uh, next stream is maybe tomorrow. I'm not sure about tomorrow yet. Uh, depends. Um, but the next stream, whether it's tomorrow or Sunday, will be Factorio, where we can go and attempt to kill that giant spawner. And then we'll come back to auction and include it the following stream. Um, so thank you guys for the follows. Thank you for the raid. And thank you for the help on the round to affiliate. If you are new to my channel, you haven't, uh, you haven't followed yet and you're willing to follow, I'd appreciate a follow. Uh, you'll be able to see when I go live and all of that. And, uh, yeah, until next time, uh, uh, have a great, have a great one. Bye everyone.